I have Jonathan Adams with me from Florida State University in, of course, Tallahassee, Florida. Absolutely. Jonathan, thank you for being here. Thank you for inviting me. I understand you're a professor. Tell me what you do. I am. Uh, I teach in the College of Communication and Information, and my course load uh, consists of teaching usability and website design um, and uh, social media uses and practices. Are you working on any particular projects that are really interesting to you at the well, moment? Well, my students are always working on projects. I keep them pretty busy. But uh, the university actually has us, uh, myself and another professor, Paul Marty, uh, working on a project that will help to develop an interdisciplinary center for the university. Wow. And what's this interdisciplinary center all about? Well, we're, we're using IT as the focus. So we're hoping that the, our students, who are IT students, um, will have that skill set that everybody else needs, right? So uh, students from the College of Business uh, have great business ideas, but maybe they don't have the technical skills. And so we're hoping to get IT students interested in that center so that they'll work with other students from other disciplines. So that might include engineering, or computer science, or business, uh, humanities, art, this has tr been a traditional problem of universities where each college or school is siloed by its area of expertise. But that interaction across the colleges is so important for entrepreneurial mm. ventures and new innovative ideas. It's so true. And, and I uh, also at the university, I help uh, to organize uh, startup events. So yeah. I'm organizing a three-day startup now. Uh, which was funded by the Jim Moran Institute, that's a college of business, and uh, the Genevia Fund, which are um, basically uh, working within the university. They help to support uh, entrepreneurship. That's phenomenal. I have to <coughs> share with you three day startup started here at the University I of know, Texas. I know, I uh, know. Phenomenal uh, graduate, uh, Cam Hauser and his team. I'm going to meet Cam. You're going to have a fabulous time with your students. It's going to be exciting. This will be the third time I've done one of these events. So I'm familiar with the curriculum. I love it. I think it's uh, it, the students find it really interesting and they rave about it. So, you know, you can, it, I think it's, it's, it's been a different type of experience for Florida State and it's been very successful so far. Good. Did you have anything like that at Florida State before? Uh, we have a um, business plan competition in the uh, College of Business. Um, and that is a very big deal. I think uh, one year they had a uh, $500,000 package for the winning teams. Wow. So we do have a lot of activity on campus, but there's always more to do. Yeah, isn't that, <laughs> isn't that true? As you look forward, what do you think your students have to be prepared for in, when it comes to innovation and entrepreneurship? I think uh, many universities struggle with this question, and I think that, um, in my opinion, a lot of uh, a lot of uh, people come back to the same conclusion, which is problem solving mm -hmm. and the ability to think out of the box, creativity, and um, I think these are things that many people are interested in promoting on campus, and I think these are are important factors that go into entrepreneurship. They are. And After so, all, entrepreneurship is not a single domain. <laughs> Uh, well, we like to think not. It has to include everybody to make it work. Well, and in the university environment, they are truly economic engines today. It's not just um, training our labor force, the next generation. It's not just the phenomenal research these institutions do. Now is almost a social responsibility to uh, translate both that quality of labor and that research out into the real world for uh, uh, some form of GDP or job creation or new business. Mm -hmm. yes, yes. Is, is that uh, something uh, uh, you guys in, uh, in Florida State are, th are thinking about as well? We actually have a uh, new venture starting at Florida State uh, outside the university, but mm -hmm. the university is already partnering with Domi Ventures. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're a startup uh, business incubator. Ah. And uh, they, they will have uh, probably about a dozen spaces for uh, Florida State University students to go in and work in a co-working space. So I'm beginning to, we're, I think we're all beginning to see some development of, uh, of a, sort of a culture and ecosystem there, which is focused on entrepreneurship. Right. Yeah. So as a professor of usability, social media, test top media, have you seen anything really interesting at South By in that area this year? 
I just arrived and I'm looking forward to learning so much while I'm here. I think you're going to have fun. And I think more importantly, our universities need to uh, uh, continue to do what they do best individually and collectively as our universities work together, our students form businesses. Um, this is going to be an exciting world going forward. I'm very appreciative, Jonathan, of you thank coming you. today. Thank you very Professor much. Professor Adams, thank you for being here. Thank you very much.